so hey there gamers today we have got a bit of a troubleshooting session for you if you are having trouble launching the xbox app on your windows 11 or windows 10 pc you are in the right place stick around and we will walk you through some solutions to get your gaming experience back on track so there is nothing worse than being all set to dive into your favorite game and finding out that your xbox app won't launch but fear not we have got you covered with some steps to troubleshoot and fix the issue so i will show you a couple of steps and try to follow each of these steps and see which one work for you and also let me know in the comment section that which method work for you and this would help others as well so at first just go to your search option and search for cmd and you need to run your cmd as administrator so just right click on here and click on run as administrator and now we will do a quick scan so i will do some command and the command will be also available in the description below so the first command is this one sfc space slash scan now so let's copy this command and then we will put this command in our command prompt and now let's press on enter and now this command will begin and system scan and check if it find any system integrity or not so here you can see it is saying that windows resource protection could not perform the requested operation so don't worry so let's run the second command here so just let's click on ctrl v and then let's press on enter and by this command so now our system will try to restore the image health so here you can see that both of our command were run successfully so this was the first step and after successfully running both of this command then try to restart your computer and check if it solved your problem or not so now we will move on with our second step which is to sign out of your microsoft store so let's open our microsoft store now and after coming to our microsoft store we will sign out of our microsoft account and then we will sign in back again so let's click on sign out here so now let's click on sign in here and now we need to put our email here and then click on continue let's put our password here so after signing in check that if it solved your problem or not so now let's move on with our third step which is to check your date and time so just right click on here and click on adjust date and time and then here make sure that it is turned on like set time zone automatically so you need to like toggle it on and also you need to like toggle set time automatically and also like click on language and region and select the correct language and correct region for you so if you are in us then select the us or if you are outside of us if you are from india then select india or if you are from other country then select the correct country or region and also you can add your preferred language so select your preferred language here so let's go back to our time and language here let's go to time so the step was mainly about you need to make sure that your time and date is accurate now you need to click on sync now here to sync to the current time from the internet so if you are connected to internet then your time would be automatically synced to the current time all right let's move on with our next step so in our next step we will go to our microsoft store so just search for your microsoft store and so just right click on your microsoft store and then click on app settings so we will try to reset our microsoft store here so just scroll down and here just click on repair first and then after clicking on repair then you can like click on reset and then after resetting then try to log into your xbox again and see that if your xbox app launching or not so now let's move on with our next step so in our next step we will like go to our game bar so just search for your game bar in your windows search option and then here just right click on here click on app settings and we will try to do the same process we will try to reset it again first we will just click on repair here and then we will click on reset so let's click on reset here and then make sure you restart your computer and check if it solved your problem or not so if it didn't solve your problem then let's move on with our next step so in our next step we will try to re-register it again so we will go to powershell so the search for windows powershell and then right click on here and click on run as administrator so you need to make sure that you run it as administrator and then we will put some command here to re-register again so these are the command so you can directly copy and paste it in your windows powershell so here you can see that i am copying this command the command will be available in the description so make sure that you check the description in the video and then press on enter so here you can see that our command has already starting to execute okay, okay. now let's close it for now and the next step is to delete microsoft store cache so just right click on your windows icon and then click on run and in your run so here you need to type this command so percentage local app data percentage and then click on ok so mainly we will go to our packages folder 
and we will search for microsoft store folder and we will delete the microsoft store folder to delete the store cache so here you can see this is the folder microsoft windows store so mainly you need to delete this folder so just right click on here and then click on delete okay now let's move on with our next step which is to update your windows so just go to your settings and in your settings just go to windows update and check if you have any windows update available or not if you have any windows update available then i would definitely suggest you to make sure that you have updated your windows so this often worked for many all right now let's move on with our next step so for our next step just go to your windows search and again just search for windows powershell and then make sure you run windows powershell as administrator and then you need to paste the second command of windows powershell so the command will be also available in the description below so let's copy this command and we will paste the command in our windows powershell and now let's press on enter okay now let's move on with our next step so our next step is to enable the services of our microsoft store and xbox so just go to your windows search here and then search for services and here is our services so just open your services here and in your services you need to scroll down and just go to your xbox so just you need to also you can also press x on your keyboard and then here you can see xbox so you need to mainly enable all of these services so here you can see we can find couple of services related to xbox so just click on here and then here you can see the startup type so from manual you need to select it to automatic and then click on start and then you need to hit apply and hit ok so you need to do the same for other xbox related services as well so let me do that so just right click on here and then here just click on startup type select automatic and then click on apply and hit ok so we have two more services here you might find some more or less services in your device so you need to enable and select the startup type to automatic for all of the xbox services so we have another xbox service xbox live network so just click on here click on automatic click on start and then click on apply and hit ok all right after enabling all of the xbox services make sure that you restart your computer and check if it solved your problem or not now we will move on with our last step so if all of the previous step didn't work for you then you should try this one to restore your system point so here you need to search for this exactly rstrui.exe and then click on ok and now here you need to click on next so we will try to restore store our system to a point where our xbox app was working so here you can see we have already found some restore points so if you just click on show more restore point you can also get some more restore points so here you can see the date and time so if you remember the correct date and time where your xbox was working then select that and click on next and then you can just click on finish and then click on yes and your system will restore to the point where your xbox were running so this was the last step if all of the previous step failed for you all right so that's it that's how you can fix that your xbox app is not opening or not running so if this video helped you then don't forget to hit the like button and please subscribe to my channel and hit the bell icon for more future videos like this one if you have any question or any suggestion let me know in the comment section below so i'm match from tech match and i'm signing out